Hello, Jess Clark with Clark Custom Guns here with you today. Today I have two things that I would like to help you out with that make, might make your day at the range a little bit more enjoyable and be a little bit easier on your wallet. Uh, two things we want to address today. One, factory barrel versus match barrel. What's the difference? Well, any barrel maker that wants to sell you a barrel is going to tell you a whole lot of things about the match barrel is more accurate, but essentially they're all 1 in 16 twist and uh, as far if it's fit properly it's going to shoot the same as far as accuracy. I have a little tool here to help prove that uh, theory here today. We have been in business for nearly 70 years actually refitting factory barrels and making them just as accurate as a match barrel. Also uh, round count. When should we replace our barrel? Well, I have a factory barrel from a well-known customer of ours today, and he was generous enough to let us test his barrel from a gun made back in the 1960s. So, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot 10 shots out of our barrel tester at 50 yards with both a Clark match barrel and this customer's factory barrel that I guarantee you has had at least 10,000 rounds through it. And we're going to see how they compare to each other. Also, uh, a little uh, information about our test fixture here. It was made by Bob Marble. As you can see, this is not an actual gun here. What this is designed to do is delim eliminate uh, any uh, elements such as a loose bushing fit or a bad slide to frame fit. Basically, we're getting the absolute optimal accuracy out of our barrel because the barrel never moves in this fixture. I uh, also have some uh, 0 185 grain ammunition. Uh, this stuff shoots pretty good. If you're a bullseye shooter, you probably already know about Zero. Very affordable, very good jacketed bullet. So, without further ado, let's test these two barrels and see how they do. Okay, so, I've already fired one shot downrange out of the factory barrel. It's all set up. I fired one shot because I actually don't have any sights. This is not an actual gun, remember. I have to actually look down the bore to get the uh, barrel on paper. So we have one shot downrange. Let's go ahead and shoot the next nine and see how we do. Louisiana has a bit of humidity. Glasses will get fogged. Woo! Three more, baby. Oh, let's see how we're doing. Okay. Three more to go. Thank you. 
Okay, that'll work. Let's try some other ammunition just because I'm feeling like uh, you might want to try something else. Okay, so just because I feel like it, we're going to shoot a, a totally different type of ammo this time. Same bullet weight, 185 grain jacketed bullet. I've got my first shot down range to get it on paper and be sure it didn't go into the other group I just shot. Let's go shoot the next nine. Oh, and by the way, these are nine millimeters right here, pieces of brass. They work as good earplugs. I like to use double protection because you can't hurt to double it up right. Here we go. the sound we all like. Woo! I forgot to add, there is a bit more powder in this cartridge than what I shot in the previous one. Last one, here we go. All right. Okay. Let's go take a walk down range and see what we got. And then after that, we will put the Clark barrel in, a brand new barrel versus a very 50, 60 year old barrel from the 1960s and see how they compare to each other. Okay, so here we are at the end of the 50 yard test tunnel. We'll just go ahead and pull this target out and see what it looks like. Remember, this is coming from an old 1960s Norinco barrel. It was very well shot. Give me just one moment. 1960s Norinco barrel. And we'll just uh, run it on back here for you where you can see there's nothing else on the target. Looks like we have about a two and a half inch group from the uh, off the shelf ammo. I won't say what it is. And then we have the good quality zero ammo. And it's about an inch and three quarter at 50 yards, 10 shot group. Of course, this was our first attempt. If we did it again, we would probably get a better result but we only get one try at this, that's how it works. Let's see what the Clark barrel does now. One key thing I would like to mention for me personally, the main difference between a match barrel and a factory barrel is a match barrel has extra material allowing it to be fitted to a particular gun. A factory barrel of course does not, it's a one size fits all kind of thing. Uh, of course, it's just like going to a tailor, you know, if you're a gun, you know, your body is a gun, you have to have a suit that's fitted to you, you know, a uh, barrel is the same with a gun, you have to have it fitted to get the, ma the maximum performance out of your gun. Uh, that's really about the only difference between a uh, match barrel and factory barrel. Uh, you'll hear a lot of other things, but uh, that's what we're here today is to prove that as far as the accuracy goes, it's the same. So, from the Clark match barrel. 10 shots, 50 yards, zero ammunition. Here we go. Oh, 
And of course, one's already down on paper. We had to get it sighted in. It's getting a little dark on us here. So this will be nine more. Let's see what we got here. I think that'll do. Just for kicks and giggles, as they say in algebra class, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So we're also going to shoot with a different type of ammo as well. Okay, so we're all set up to begin our next test with a different ammo. 10 shots, 50 yards, Clark match barrel. Here we go. Take your picture. Two more. Last one. Here we go. All right. Let's see how we did. I'm going to get to know before you. I'm going to give you a hint. Zero shot better than the other. Yeah! Let's go check out the results. Okay, so we made a slight mistake. I have to be fair here. The uh, first factory barrel we used was actually a 5-inch Norinco barrel, and we used a 6-inch Clark match barrel. Well, we have to have a 6-inch barrel versus a 6-inch barrel, don't we? So, what we have is from the exact same gentleman. He sends us a lot of guns. He shoots them quite often. I have another well-used factory barrel, and I'm actually trying to talk him out of buying one of our match barrels, and I like to make money as much as anyone else. So, we're going to test this barrel real quick and compare it to the uh, Clark barrel you just saw, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Our customer will have a choice here. We can either weld up and refit his factory barrel, or he can take our match barrel. Either way, I think he's going to get the same accuracy.
that's 10. Okay, so we had to retreat inside the shop due to darkness. Uh, but we did pull our target and uh, we actually were able to get another group or two in before we uh, got inside the shop. So just wanted to share the results with you here real fast. Uh, we're going to zoom in here to our Clark match barrel, six inches, uh, made of uh, chromoly steel. As you can see, we have a uh, one group with an undisclosed ammo that did okay, acceptable. It's under two inches or two and a half inches anyway at 50 yards. Uh, we have zero loaded ammo, 185 grain, and my favorite, 185 grain, zero bullet, uh, loaded to my specs with uh, a hydrogen powder. Uh, and we did pretty good there with that. Let's see what we got for our first factory barrel, just a uh, five inch Norinco. We'll have to ignore those two cider shots there. We tried to start another group, but it was dark and we couldn't see them due to the darkness of our tunnel. Uh, at the top left, once again, we have the uh, 0185 grain. It's a pretty good group there. Uh, identical ammo shot, just a 5 inch Norinco barrel. And let's zoom out to our 6 inch barrel. We only had time to shoot one group with this. This is just a factory 6 inch barrel. I'm not exactly sure who made it, it's unmarked. But as you can see, it's uh, nearly identical to the uh, Clark match barrel. And of course, I work for Clark Custom Guns, so I have to be honest with you. Uh, they shoot about identical. It's the same twist rifling, you know, you can see they're pretty identical and It's a very old barrel. I don't know who made it, but it's very old uh, Just on a side note here. We've done some other testing in the past uh, You know in other calibers. This is a 38 super here The top two groups are actually shot out of Clark barrels The uh, bottom two groups are actually shot out of a cart barrel Of course we talked about manufacturers earlier uh, the manufacturer of the barrel doesn't really matter a whole lot. The uh, main thing that you want to look for as far as the manufacturers when you're choosing a barrel for your gun, look at the specs and look at the material it's made of. Uh, the rifling is not going to be too much different. Uh, however, I'm a big fan of cart barrels as well as Clark. Uh, their specs are right on and they're very good honest people. And you can see uh, that's quite respectable groups out of both the Clark and the cart barrels there. So. We do a lot of testing at 50 yards in our 50 yard test tunnel. We just wanted to share a few of the results with you and uh, better your knowledge and help you decide uh, what's best for you. We'll see you next time.